is common practice to complete sewer lining camera inspections as part of the operations and maintenance of a sewer system. When this televising occurs, the operator will grade aspects of the sewer using industry-wide standardized system. So today we're out here uh, rehabilitating uh, the sewer mains, uh, their combined sewers, and we are rehabilitating them with trenchless technology. The trenchless technology we are using today is geopolymer lining. It's a sprayed-on product fiber concrete that we put into the sewer mains and uh, we used to repair cracks, infiltration and give a long service line to the uh, sewers. So this is basically everything that's going wrong with the pipe. This is a structural fix so it'll take care of any structural failures occurring in the pipe just because they are so old and then also it's going to give the uh, pipe a nice smooth interior surface so it'll prevent any restriction of flow. Rehabilitation of sewers using trenchless technologies affords an additional design life of 50 years without excessively deep excavations. This saves money as well as reduces the impact of extensive construction activities on the surrounding neighborhood. We saw about six weeks of work time on the 48 inch segment. We're expecting approximately the same for the 60 inch. When we're doing the 101, we're expecting it to go a little bit faster just because you're basically walking down a giant hallway. The large diameter sores are critical as they convey all combined sewage from the upstream drainage area. Should they fail, the sores can result in backups upstream or sewer overflows. Large diameter sores, busways, railroads, and streams are all often located in low valley areas. Yeah, I mean, we're excited to be out here doing it today and helping improve the sewer framework in the city.